Yum, yum. Hey everyone, Steve White here. I'm gonna talk about level of detail in Blender. Now by level of detail, I don't mean um, rendering lower polygon object as it moves farther and farther from the camera. Um, more I'm talking about an object replacement from the viewport to the final render so that you can have an, a viewport full of low poly objects, but when you actually go to render, you're gonna get the final rendered um, high poly asset. So I have a uh, concrete barrier here that I got from the Megascans library. And if I go ahead and tab into edit mode, you can see that this polygon object has um, about 9,500 polygons. Okay, so it's not very high poly, but uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, it'll be fine. Um, now, what I could do, um, I need another object for a low poly stand-in. So what I could do is just simply uh, come over here to the Megascans library where I got the asset here. And I'm going to change this to LOD5, which will be the lowest polygon version of that, that that is in the library. And I'll just export that, and that will show up here in Blender. Now, when this shows up, and I go into edit mode, you can see this one has about 1,100 polygons. So it's about, you know, about 10% of what the other one was, which is good. Um, but we can do a lot better than that. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one, that low poly, go ahead and delete that one. Come back to my high poly. I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate that. Move that over on the X. And now um, I'm going to come over into the modifiers and I'm going to go and decimate that. Okay, let me turn on wireframe just so we can see this happening here. So as I dial down the uh, decimate modifier, you can see that it's decimating the, the polygons, but it's keeping the UVs and textures intact, which is what we want because we want to be able to see, you know, what the asset will at least look like, um, you know, in the viewport which makes the scene a lot easier to read. So um, so that's low enough, I think that's good. Um, let me go ahead and apply that. And now if I tap into edit mode, you can see now we have 182 polygons. So I've went down almost another, I don't know, 85, 90%. So um, we'll use this as our low poly stand-in. Now to do the actual level of detail uh, transition, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a free add-on um, that is from the maker of the scatter add-on in, in Blender, and it's called Lotify, and it, it's just an object replacement uh, add-on. So to use it, I'm gonna go ahead and select the object, and then I'm gonna come down here to my object data properties, and there is a little sub uh, section here called level of detail. I'm just gonna enable that. And now I'm gonna click a couple slots in there with the plus sign. Okay, and now we need to pick our high poly object as the base, be, what would be lot zero, and then pick this one as our, you know, LOD1. Okay, and so just so that's clear, I'm gonna go ahead and select this object, come up into the outliner, I'm just gonna rename this low poly just so we know which one's what. Okay, so now if I come back to this one, um, here we have our viewport and render settings. So uh, right now, uh, you know, if I click this, it'll sh this is what's gonna be showing in the viewport. If I switch to the other one, you can see now that one's gonna be displaying in the viewport. So for now, I'll leave that on the viewport, and then I'm going to have this one um, render in the viewport and also render as final render. And now um, what I can do is I can just take this one, and I'm just going to hide that from view. We don't no longer need that. So now if I go ahead and just switch to this one, you can see now this one is displaying in the viewport. But when I go to render, you can see the final render one, you know, the final version of the high poly one is rendering. And when we switch back to, you know, the regular viewport, now we have the low poly object. So this will keep your scenes pretty light and fast um, while being able to render your higher polygon objects. Yum, yum!